What up, brass players? Today we're going to talk about brass embouchure. We've got a few steps we're going to do, and then at the end of this, you're going to be super successful brass embouchure pros. And there's a challenge at the end, so watch all the way in so you know what your challenge is this week. Well, let's get into it. If you're going to be a brass player, if you're going to be a super awesome brass player, you need to have a brass face. I took a picture of my brass face. It's kind of embarrassing. Actually, that's really embarrassing. But there's three parts we got to know about. First is the corner. So whenever you make your brass face, you need to be thinking about your corner. Then you need to also be thinking about that center. That center is super important as well. The last C word that you got to think about whenever you make your brass face is the chin. If you got a trombone in the corner, that's super cool too. But that's up to you. That's up to you. I'm not going to judge you. All right, well, brass players don't only look like brass players. They eat like brass players. That means on the daily, I'm snacking on M&Ms. I'm drinking coffee all the time, and I have a bowl of rice about every meal. No, that's not true. But those things help us remember what it means to make our brass face. It's only four steps. First, you're going to make sure you can say emanim. That's kind of a weird word, emanim. You also need to make sure you have a coffee stir or a coffee stir look-alike. I couldn't find a coffee stir because I drink my coffee black, but I do have a kebab stick, so, you know, that'll work. Something that's small. A pencil is a little bit too big, but a kebab stick will work fine. Then you got to be able to air it out. I'll show you what that means in a second. And then you got to be able to maintain the right space between your lips. So let's start with step number one. Sitting up nice and tall, making shoulders are nice and relaxed. Tension is the enemy. We're going to make sure we can say what I say, emanim. Can you try that? Emanim. We don't need our corners up. Corners kind of stay back. Emanim. Yes. Then you're going to make sure you can have a little bit of a spot to keep your stick in. Emanim. Air it out looks like this, emanim. And if there's still air going through my face, I've kept my rice. Now, whenever we've got our stick in our face, we don't need to try to stick it straight up in the air. In fact, it doesn't even have to be parallel. It can be down a little bit, and that's totally fine. It's totally appropriate. So, airing it out. Once you've made your emanim, once you've put your stick in, I'm asking you to air it out. Gotta keep your face the same. You're gonna let the air push the stick out of your face. It's not gonna do that naturally. You can't go, but you can let it. You're gonna pull it out as you're blowing to keep the air moving forward. You're gonna keep that grain of rice space between your lips, and you're not gonna use your teeth. If I use my teeth, that would not be how I played my instrument. The stick coming down is the same angle in which I'm gonna hold my instrument later. Once you've got all that, it's time to make sure you can air it out in a direction. You don't want to just the air go anywhere. You want the air to have purpose. So I made myself a little pie plate bullseye, and you can make one too or use the one on the screen. What you're going to do is you're going to make sure that focused air has a spot. You're going to aim for the center and focus that air into it. All you have to do then is to keep calm and buzz on. Whenever you buzz, it's super easy. Once you've made that M&M face, you've pulled the stick and you've let the air do its job, you're going to simply take your hands on either side and apply just a little bit of pressure on your corner, and you're going to it's going to be magic. There's just going to be a buzz that happens. I'm going to go first. I didn't change anything about my face, but just a little bit of touch right here and I got a buzz. The same thing happens whenever we add a mouthpiece of any size. A trumpet mouthpiece, a trombone mouthpiece, whatever mouthpiece you want to. I'm a tuba player, so I'm going to play a tuba mouthpiece. I'll do the exact same thing. I don't, want, I don't want to force my buzz. My buzz just needs to come from my soul. The air that I've got inside just comes out and my song is a buzz. That's it. That's all it is. Try that four, five, six, seven hundred times. And then uh, all you got to do is slap that mouthpiece into your instrument. Bam. You've got sound. It's so cool. To demonstrate that, I've got this thing right here called a P buzz. I'm going to start with my mouthpiece. Once I got a good solid mouthpiece buzz, I'm just going to put my mouthpiece inside this tube. And just like your instrument, it's just a giant tube. The air inside the tube is going to vibrate the same time I've got my mouthpiece vibrating. Sound's going to happen. Here we go. Let's try this thing. Here we go. Nice. Cool. Your job this week is to try your relaxed, easy buzzes. That's all you got to worry about. 
I'm going to show you one little secret here before we move on. Here it is. It's called a super secret synth shack. It's not too hard. We've got a super secret synth shack right here. And just like our corners, our corners on the side right here, they're nice and firm. That's a good solid buzz. If I want to change the register in which I'm buzzing, I'm going to think of my synth shack as changing the focus by simply moving my focus from the outside to the inside. I'm not making things more tense or hard or forcing anything. I'm just moving my lips a little bit from the corners to the center. I go from this buzz to a tighter buzz, just not a tighter but a more focused buzz from the corners to the middle. Hmm. If you want to change your range on your mouthpiece buzz, you're going to do the cinch sack super secret all the way up. Alright guys, it's time for your homework. If you ever want to review what this looks like, Mr. Jackson shared this with his class and you can see it here if you want to stop the video and read it. This is a good trumpet reminder of everything we just said. Here's your good trombone euphonium reminder. And here's your homework. This week, can you keep a coffee stir or look alike in the air for 10 seconds without using your teeth? Use the muscles in your brass face. Can you focus your air and close your lips to make a relax, relaxed buzz light your buzz? And can you change the corners to make both a high buzz and a low buzz? I bet you, you can. All right, guys. Good luck. If you ever need any help with anything, just ask. All right, we'll see you guys.